What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And if you've ever done much overlanding in a Jeep Wrangler, whether it's a JL or a JK, or even perhaps you have a new Bronco, you know that the space inside is, is quite limited. There's just not much room to carry a lot of gear in there. And if you're like us, and you know, sometimes my wife does have her roof rack on here with the tent. I mean, even with a roof rack, that doesn't allow a whole lot of extra space up there to, uh, to attach things to the roof rack. But uh, when we were at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest just last weekend, we saw a product that um, I think made adding extra gear, fuel, um, traction boards, water storage, those sort of things that, you know, a lot of times take up a lot of space inside, or maybe even like in the case of fuel, you don't want inside, made that really easy. And we had to have it. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventure merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. So, what we have here is the Pack Racks by a company called Trail Racks. And Trail Racks is based here in the USA, in Utah, um, and they make a number of innovative solutions for mounting things to Wranglers and Broncos, um, and, and even some cool Gladiator stuff as well. But uh, I, I didn't want to take it out of the box all just yet because their packaging is incredible, and that tells you a lot about a company. Uh, this is your mounting plates for the side but i mean look at look at how all this is packaged now i've taken a lot of this uh little foam wrapping stuff out of here so i could see what all was in here but that's uh, how all these individual pieces are wrapped and i love how they've got it organized they've got uh, these four pieces here they go on the top they have the matching set of screws right there this is your little rubber bumper stops they are packaged with the screws that go to them and then you've got the bottom mounting brackets and they also have the screws that go with them. So it's incredibly organized. And then you've got your two pieces that go um, on the sides. And as you can see, made in the USA. So good quality stuff here. And the install of this really could not be simpler. So we're gonna get going. And you pretty much assemble everything on the bench before you actually take it and put it on the side of your Wrangler or Bronco. Not sure if this is the exact same installation for Bronco, but, but very similar. Um, and I love the fact that these brackets here, there's, there's with the exception of the, the little bumpers here, there are no nuts that you have to deal with because everything has the little threaded holes built in and that makes the installation of this even super simple. All you need is a 10 and 11 millimeter socket or you know open face wrench like that and a small allen key and I don't remember the size of this but uh, that's all you need. It's just that simple. So I'm going to take this piece here That just threads right in there. Take a washer and a bolt. You take these, you put them there. You just want these loose. You don't want these tight because you'll tighten these up once you get them on the Jeep or Bronco.
let's get our bumpers. I love that they include these. I don't think they're necessary, but it's just kind of a just in case thing for the side of your vehicle. Now, a trail racks has a very detailed instruction set on their website and the bottom ones take two washers and then you use the little cap screw here And these you just need to get snug. You don't have to crank on them to get them tight because they're rubber, so they're gonna deform a little bit. And the top gets no washer. Now, if you don't have a Rhino Rock Backbone platform like we do on my wife's Wrangler, um, these you would go ahead and attach, and then you can just slide them onto uh, the, the gutters. But since we have that, uh, that blocks the gutter. So we'll take this and install it on the Jeep. So then you take this and you just kind of put it up there. Take one of your, your blocks. Secure that one like that. You slide these around however you want it to go. And go ahead and tighten this down. You don't want to go too tight. Just snug. I think they say 15 foot pounds, so that's not much at all. Then these just automatically slide under the, the lip of your hard top here. And boom, I mean, that is just that simple. And then uh, from here, you can mount uh, a rotopax or, uh, you know, mounting points for shovels and axes. And um, I've got a water port, uh, water tank here that I'm gonna put on the other side. And we've got some fuel bags that I'm gonna put on this side. And it is just that easy. Um, I, I'm gonna go put the other side on real quick and then I'll show you how I'm attaching everything. Well, that's it. Uh, I think all in that took me about 30 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer to put the water port here on the side, but it's just a super simple install. And I think these things are brilliant for adding additional storage to a JK or a JL Wrangler or a Bronco 
since the inside is, is such is so limited on storage. So there is a link in the description. So be sure to check that out if you've you know if you've got a Wrangler or Bronco and struggling with storage space for things like fuel and water, shovels, that sort of gear. Um, go check them out. Thanks for watching. If you would give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. We just crossed 51,000 subscribers. We've got a goal to hit 75,000 by the end of the year. So if you're watching this and not subscribed, just, just go down there and click that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when we upload things. And I mean, if you like what we're doing and want to support the channel, uh, go check out our Patreon. We, we do some extra content for our Patreon subscribers. Uh, we share all of our GPS data. We do special events for them. So go check that out. And if you're interested in Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, uh, preferably not uh, this sweaty because it's 103 degrees outside right now while I'm doing this, uh, go check out shopoverlandapparel.com. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.